Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us this week as we continue in this series of six things that every family needs over time. Last week we looked at how time over time really matters, being intentional with the time that we have and investing that into our relationships. This week we're looking at love and words. So Terry, you took us a lot today through <laughs> so many ideas and thoughts, yeah. but really what we're talking about when we say love over time, what do we mean? Well, I think the way that we need to start this though is to really define you know love because love is such a big and general and, and it reaches so many different segments so how do we show love within our family and how do we more importantly make a true impact and i think where we have to start is specifically with regards to the kind of love that jesus showed us which is an unconditional love and, and that's the kind of love that really is going to make an impact really going to begin to change the lives of our kids the lives of our parents the lives of our spouses, of the lives of our friends. And so I want to read you something. This Apostle Paul, he, re, he said this once. He said, look, he said, for if when we, are God, we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. And that speaks to our relationship with God, that when Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, we were reconciled. That no matter what our past burdens, no matter what our past mistakes, no matter how bad we failed, God loves us the same. He loves us as he created us to be. And so how much more as a family that when a family member messes up, when a child does the wrong thing, how can we then remember the kind of love that Jesus gave us and that God gives us that we, before we look at them, before we speak, before we get angry, before we get emotional, we pause for a moment and say, wait a minute, because of what Jesus Christ did for me, I am reconciled, which means how now should I talk and speak to my loved one? How can I interact? How can I show them that same kind of love? And when you show that love over time, it makes a true difference. And that's really tricky for us sometimes, right? That idea of an unconditional because a lot of us carry hurt or mistakes or, or maybe some pain that goes on there. But more than that, just being mindful of it every single day because saying that we love someone with our words is very different than actually showing them by how we live every single day. I'm right? so glad that you said it that way because many of us think that I, I don't have the right words to say, Pastor Terry. I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. And typically, I even tell our staff this, that sometimes in the moments of difficulties or tragedies, even within individuals, the best thing that you can do for someone is to show up, yes. to be present. You don't have to say anything. You just need to be present. And when you think about it as, as a parent or as a grandparent, when you show up consistently over time, whether someone makes a mistake or what, whether someone succeeds at their best, it speaks volumes to their value. They know that they're valued by you because it doesn't matter what they choose, they know that you are going to love them over time. And so what does it mean to show up? How can I as a family show up for one another? We typically say this, show up consistently. Be there on the consistent moments. Create those rhythms and those patterns. So many of us are stretched thin in our families. It's now time to make an intentional action step to say we are going to have dinner together around the dinner table consistently. We are going to show up for our our son's basketball game no matter what. We are going to be there with our grandparents once a week around the table having dinner because we want them to know that we value the time that we have with them. Right. So there's showing up consistently. There's also, which I love, showing up randomly. Yeah, it's, that's that's a highlight, right? Oh, it's, it's like a surprise? Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. surprising someone, um, surprising a friend, surprising a grandparent even, showing up for something that they think, this. don't be bothered by this, it's not a big deal. When you show up unexpected, oh, it, it makes value. We talked in week one specifically about how specific weeks matter more than others. When you show up randomly, oh, you make that moment come alive for somebody. And so in those moments, make sure you show up. And then one of the last things that we say is, yeah. which is difficult, show up mentally. That's it means this, dads, <laughs> that when you're at the breakfast table, you don't have your phone out. It's I get dinged on that a lot. Oh. Whitney and I will call each other out on that all the time. We'll be like, hey, your child is talking to you, put it down. It's like, oh, sorry. And so you know? what do we do? We say, you know what? Put the phone to the side. Show the individual that they matter. Show them that you love them unconditionally, even more than the fear of missing out. 
put the phone away so that you can show love over time. So that's really important as it comes to the idea of love over time. When we talk about words, that really is like the second hand, right? When we talk about yes. over time, because our words over time can have such an impact on somebody's life as they create that history over time, yeah. like we talked about last week. But our words really can help shape the heart of a kid, of a loved one, of anybody that we're in a relationship with. Right? Absolutely. It's, it's almost that idea uh, kind of juxtaposed of what we just talked about. Um, showing up for someone matters so much. But sometimes we think that's all we have to do. Sometimes we, we don't think about those words in the right moments that God can give us to be able to speak into the life of someone that we love. And so have you ever kind of seen those movies where you have a son that looks in dad and said, that's the first time I've ever heard you yeah. say, I love you. And they're like, well, you, of course you know I love you. I've been there. I've shown up. Yeah, but you never said anything. Sometimes we have to humble ourselves and we have to say what's on our heart. Super, superficial words, they have a little meaning. But when it comes from the heart, it matters. And so say it so it matters. Say it so it matters so that the loved one that you're saying it to will know that they matter. Right, so those are two really big ideas that we have to think about this week, this idea of love and words over time. So how are we gonna live that out this week? What is one way that we can take this idea of being intentionally uh, showing up for somebody, either randomly or predictably, maybe building some consistent rhythm in our life. And how can we use our words this week to create uh, an awesome history for someone in the future? So I hope you guys enjoy that idea. I hope you have some great thoughts on that. And we will uh, continue on with this next week.